Hello everyone, this is DA from E Academy, and today this video is about the properties of annihilator in the functional analysis. So, heading towards the first property. If H is a Hilbert space and A is a subset of the Hilbert space, the claim is that the annihilator of annihilator. The annihilator of the A annihilator is a superset of A, or we can say that A is a subset of that double annihilator. So the algorithm is same. Now we have to take an element from this A. Let's take a vector from this A. And if we say that this X that is taken from the A subset of H and the inner product of this X with every element of this set is, is zero so this thing implies that because by definition if x is from a and x with every element of y then a product is zero then we can say that x belongs to a double annihilator this is what the definition of the annihilator says so if x is a member of the subset a and this property is here by definition that the inner product of this x with every element of a annihilator is zero then we can say that x belongs to a double annihilator so this implies that a is a subset of a double annihilator now the second property of annihilator is so the next property states that if a is a subset of b and a and b are the subset of the hilbert space then B annihilator is a subset of A annihilator. So, as this is a Hilbert space, this is a B subset of H, this is a A subset of H, and B is a superset of A. Now, if we take an element from B annihilator, so we can apply the definition that, that the inner product of X and Y is equal to zero, where Y is taken from the B. So there is not an annihilator, there is only a B. So now again, if we take an element from B annihilator, then by definition, this X and the inner product of Y is zero, where Y, and this is not only for one element of B, but by definition, we can say this for all of the elements of B. Now, as A is a subset of B, so if Y is taken from the B, that we can represent it as so there are y's in b so if this is true for every y so we can also say that this is true for elements of a as well because a is a subset of b so this thing this statement is also true for the elements of a so we can say that the norm of this x with y is zero for all of y that are taken from the set a so if this is true this thing implies this as a is a subset of b so we can say that that x is a member of a and high letter and initially x was taken from b and high letter by applying the definition then by applying the relation of the subset a and of a and b then again by applying the definition we get this so this thing implies that a and high letter is a superset of B annihilator. We can say that B annihilator is a subset of A annihilator. So this property is satisfied here. Now the third property is that A annihilator is equal to A triple annihilator or the annihilator of A double annihilator. As the first property was A is a subset of A double annihilator. So and the second property that was if A is a subset of B, then B annihilator is a subset of A annihilator. So, if we use this right now and apply this property on this, as A is a subset of B, then if we take annihilator on this, this so, this, so this subset relation will become the super set relation. So, this thing implies that so the annihilator of the double annihilator is a subset of a annihilator so now we have this information so we'll call it 
this and now now by looking over this again that is a subset of a double anhydride and if we go in the sequence that a anhydride is a subset of a triple anhydride because the sequence says that a anhydride is a subset of a double anhydride so a anhydride must be a subset of a triple anhydride and this is by the sequence that is going from the first property so if we have that a anhydride is a subset of a triple anhydride and also that a triple anhydride is a subset of a anhydride by combining both of them we can say that eventually a anhydride is equal to a triple anhydride this is what we have a target over there so we have proved by using the first property and the second property that a anhydride is equal to a triple anhydride now the next property is so a union B anhydride is equal to A anhydride intersection B anhydride. So we are going to prove this equality in A and B where A and B are the subsets of the Hilbert space. Now we know that A is a subset of A union B and B is a subset of A union B. So now applying the second property, if we take anhydride on both sides, then this flips out and will be like this. That A union B anhydride is a subset of A anhydride and A union B anhydride is a subset of B anhydride. Now we're going to take the intersection of them. So we have this because intersection of both of the term will be this and the subset of A anhydride intersection B anhydride. So now we have proved that A union B anhydride is a subset of A anhydride intersection B anhydride. Now the target is to prove that this is a subset of this thing. So for this, Let's take element from this. Let we take a vector from A intersection, A anhydride intersection, B anhydride. So this thing implies that X must be a member of A anhydride and is also a member of B anhydride. So by definition, we can say that as X belongs to anhydride, the inner product of X and all of the elements of A is zero for all y taken from a and for this the norm of x and b we can say that u is equal to zero for all of the u taken from the b now so we can also say that if u belongs to b then u is also the member of a union b so we can apply this definition on a union b as well so we can say that so we can say that the inner product of x and u where u taken from a union b is equal to zero. So this thing implies that x belongs to a union b and halator. And this thing implies that because x was taken from a and halator into section b and halator, this is a subset of a union b and halator. And here we have proved that a union b and halator is a subset of a and halator into section b and halator. And this was the opposite of this. So both of them imply that a union B anhalator is equal to A anhalator intersection B anhalator. So we have proved this property. Now the next property is A intersection B anhalator is a superset of A anhalator union B anhalator. In order to prove this result, we'll use the obvious information that that A intersection B is a subset of A and A intersection B is a subset of B. So by applying the second property that if we're going to make an annihilator of this set because there's a subset relation, so this flips out. So this will become that A annihilator is a subset of A intersection B annihilator and B annihilator is a subset of A intersection B annihilator. So taking the union of both of them, we get A annihilator union B annihilator. That is a subset of A intersection B annihilator and that is what the target is. So these are the five properties of the analyzer that are discussed here. So if you're looking for more such videos, and you can subscribe to this channel in order to watch more upcoming videos. We will meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Goodbye.